What's up guys, today we're going to be watching some more iconic episodes from Season 5 of Adventure Time. And if you guys want more videos without Jack, what? No, I'm kidding. And if you guys want us to watch more Adventure Time and finally get to Season 6, then get this video to 12,000 likes. And if you want to hear the uncut commentary, you can head over to our Patreon, and remember to subscribe so you don't miss an upload. Do it! Take it out, yo. Oh, I love this part, bro. Giffers, get ready. Start screen recording. No f Way. <laughs> Lots of people pay money to have this type of experience or would pay money like Vorfe furries and all and he slash she slash them got to experience it for free there that's that's kind of beautiful and clearly is not appreciating the experience whatsoever kind of fucked up i'm a bubble okay nothing's stopping a bubble <sighs> that's what they say Looks like you've given up on things. This bubble has such a beautiful voice. He just speaks in such a poetic fashion that I just want to follow his politics. Like, he's convinced me. Ah, it's a baby! This baby is fucking disgusting. That is the ugliest baby I've seen in my entire life. You mean the most realistic baby. This is probably what Jack looked like as a baby. If you give this baby, like, a very hairy back, this is what Jack looked like when he was a baby, I'm pretty sure. That's his mom! Let go! You should be ashamed of yourself. The baby's like bigger than the mom. In any realistic situation, that baby would have killed the mother at childbirth, okay? Sorry, just had to say it. Maybe their species, they have like extra loose f***ies. You don't know for certain. All this time we've been together, Bimo, I haven't felt lost. I felt at home. Can a bubble boy and a non-binary computer really be together? That's my question. I thought we could get married. I do. <laughs> hey, a bubble. Pop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I fucking love that so much. I hear you in my head, but I don't see you. Oh no, I have I gone bananas? They're just laughing at Bimo's trauma. <laughs> like they're just being assholes right now. I'm air. I've been trapped in that bubble for so long. Bimo just befriended one of the fucking four elements right now. We can be together forever, Bimo. No more privacy. This is weird. Suddenly it became a little creepy, actually. Exactly. Like, this is genuinely so fucking weird. He specifically says no more privacy. You're a creepy ass motherfucker. And what is Bimo's reaction? Until the end of time. Bimo, <laughs> you're a victim, buddy. I love that episode. Oh, Bimo, how'd you get so pregnant? The father is heir. These episodes are back to back. Does this imply that the heir has preg impregnated Bimo? Is that what this song is implying? Okay. Towards the human incarnation of a baby. <gasps> What is with these episodes and just making Bimo cry? What the fuck were they on this season, man? Leave them alone! Jim, Baxter! <laughs> Bimo just, like, went through a miscarriage, essentially. And now, he's instantly happy because he sees this fucking horse, James Baxter. You know how they bring, they bring like, dogs and, like, cats and stuff to hospitals to cheer up, like, the children with cancer and shit? Imagine if you brought James Baxter. Like, they would completely forget about any of their troubles. These sounds make feel good right here. What is James Baxter originally? Isn't he like originally like an animator or something that they're- Yes, he's a very skilled animator, worked at Disney. But why did they make him a horse? He animated that character and it's named after him. And it's specifically an absurdly difficult concept to animate, a horse bouncing on a ball. I think our thing is going to change the world. When people experience it, it's going to make them so happy. Dude, this is like when you spend all night like making a beat in FL Studio, they're going to wake up to tomorrow morning it's gonna be the shittiest thing they've heard in their entire lives you're just describing the adventure time soundtrack i like the adventure time soundtrack <laughs> okay that does go hard that actually goes hard <laughs> <laughs> this is weird. There's no reason why they would like this at a funeral anyways. What the fuck? What, what the fuck? James Baxter. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Yo, this is so fucking funny, bro. The entire episode is just, hey, man, if you animate something nicely, that shit is gonna make people happy. James Baxter. Cool. He's so well animated. Yeah, that James Baxter guy is invited to the spilling the milk blunt rotation. Okay, that's all I'm saying. And that horse has a fat ass. I would get high with James Baxter. Whoa! Alright, I saw some baddies on the screen. There's no moment in which they like go, hey man, we're gonna be quiet today or whatever. They already start the game. They already have their papers pre-written. You know what I just realized? This is another episode where they low-key traumatize Bimo. Do we need to call Child Protective Services? That is the question we need to be asking ourselves because I'm starting to think Bimo might be a victim. Why are you not talking? What happened to Finn and Jake? You have taken over their bodies. Ah! <laughs> Bimo hiding in the attic? What? Bimo anti-Semitic arc? What? Bimo! Bimo has hoes? Question mark. Bimo just canonically gets more pussy than anyone else in the show, and he's literally a computer. You body taker! Ah! Why did he give up so easily? Why did he run away so comically? I just like how quickly Bimo jumped the gun on assuming shit. They've been fucking with him for the past two episodes, so he's probably like on high alert. You know what I mean? I don't know. Wow. There's so many hoes. How many? does he have? I don't get it. It doesn't make sense. Oh, hashtag wholesome. This is so wholesome. I'm literally gonna cry right now. Turns into a fucking shining instantly. Yeah, no, I think there actually is a shining reference in this scene here. I can, I can see Jake being played by Jack Nicholson. You see? You see? He looks just like him. Whoa, there's a lot of sexy ladies in this episode. God damn. This episode is just so strange to me because while under the assumption that they are like under attack by imposters, some of them are still dancing, playing the maracas. Nothing in this episode makes sense. Ow, ow, okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> This episode did not feel real. Bro, they've got the moves. They've got the moves. Party, party, party. Ow! Oh, well, hi. Party Wolf heard that the bitches were there and he pulled up. Mm, urgent. Hold still, Bimo. Let me shove this up your ass, Bimo. More child abuse. Jake the dog, we have your daughter. We need you to reassemble your old team. Gareth. The Flying Lettuce Brothers. The Flying Lettuce Brothers. That shit goes hard as fuck, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. Break into the Royal Candy Vault and steal this. The Baker Shard. Bro, you know the Baker Shard is some real shit because that shit was rotating in 3D, man. That is literally on another plane of existence than the rest of the characters. You know Princess Bubblegum stole that shit from the Fire Kingdom or something. She definitely stole it from like an indigenous tribe or whatever. Destroy the tape. Oh! Ew, like what the fuck? What does that mean? How do you do that? You can't stick a cassette tape up your ass and break it on command? I probably could, but there would be a lot of blood. Cause he's soft now. What the Shh. Tiffany, I'm the same Jake. I just stopped stealing mostly. Mostly. <laughs> now I just occasionally slide an extra item in at the Walmart. Everybody does it. Okay, do your thing, man. Ew, ew, that's... Okay. Tiffany enjoyed this. It's kind of like being inside of a kangaroo, though. Like, it's like a kind of similar feeling, you know what I mean? Whoa. Whoa. Yo. I like that they chose to put it sideways, because it like kind of gives it like a video game perspective. Like, this is just some dude's Super Mario Maker level that he's going through right now. <laughs> he's playing Bowser's Big Bean Burrito right now. Thank you for saving me, me daddy. <laughs> no way. No. What? It was a twist the entire time? What the scallop? This is fucking crazy. This is actually really badass. I totally double crossed you. Jake Jr. What the funky fresh, honey? <laughs> I th really thought he was gonna say what the fuck. You know the writers really wanted him to swear there. Like they just, they begged Cartoon Network. Can we get one fuck? Can we please get one fuck? Don't stink and do this to me again. I'm old and fat. 
probably have a heart attack. I'm old and fat. <laughs> Dude, I feel like that's the first time in the whole show where Jake refers to himself as old, bro. Like, he will die soon. Cor, why do dogs die? Tell me. Well, at least all dogs go to heaven. Hello. <laughs> Here for more Grables, I presume. If you're a viewer of this video and you don't know how the Grables work, basically, there's supposed to be a theme in all of the episodes, right? But it's never what you think it is. It's some innovative storytelling. This shit's like a choose-your-own-adventure novel. This shit is fucking Nihao Kai Ling for adults. Nihao Kai Lan? Clearly, you weren't a real Nihao head if you can't even name the, the show correct, okay? You having fun at daddy's? Hmm? Oh, mm, sure, Dad. She's drinking wine? I know she's 22, but her I don't even think Jake has drank wine his entire life. This child is more mature than him. Hello? His flesh is the entire everything right now. Jake could make like a real flesh light. Like a flesh flesh light. Cinnamon bun, you can't sleep with a nightlight anymore. I can't handle this denial of life! This is weird. Like, she has the science available to fix his mental deficiency. She is such an immoral character, bro. I don't even know what to say. Hey, Cinnabon. I need soft light. Cinnabon is so fucked up. Someone needs to make a video, like, just giving the entire character arc of Cinnamon Bun, like, justice. Because the way the show treats him is genuinely so fucked up. Look, I know he was your partner. What the fuck is the theme of this episode? What the fuck is the theme? Too bright! Eat on it! Oh, oh. The theme of this episode, Core, is fetishes. Gay and fest. Then Ice King was diaper fetish. And Cinnamon Bun was fat fetish? Question mark? My end. <laughs> One of the greatest transitions of all time. Oh my god! Literally, Vor Death transitioned to this depressed ass fox. What the fuck? What? A jerk? Yeah, just give it a little jerk. Oh, that's the theme of the episode. Jerk. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it comes back to fashes. Think about it. I guess that's it for this week. What? What's that? You want to finish the Grable? Yes, I want to finish the Grable. I'll f*** you off right now. Just please let me finish. <laughs> Here. Now get lost! I hate this character. It takes a while. Like, in two seasons, he becomes a good character again. They start to redeem him a little. I don't even like him then. All magic is is scientific principles presented like mystical hoodoo, which is fun, but it's sort of irresponsible. Do you think Princess Bubblegum is fun? with Dr. Fauci or not, Cor? I think she's Johnson & Johnson. That's what she's trying to administer to Starchy right now. And that's why Starchy's crying. He's like, I don't want the Johnson & Johnson. I don't want that one. That's like the worst one you can get, please. You want me to go to Wizard City and get you a cold spell? Starchy really is just anti-vax. Princess Bubblegum is Reddit atheist and they can't see eye to eye on this subject. Guys, hold up. I got the password from the Ice King. Oh my God, shoulders. Oh, oh, it's so hot. Oh, I love shoulders. You are guilty of impersonating a wizard. Whoa. They turned him into a fucking stick. That's cruel and unusual punishment. Do they not have rights? So what's in it? It's my secret brew, dog. So you want to sell me a product with no information? It's a cold spell. He just sells fucking supplements. It's unregulated by FDA. They don't have to list what's in it. Yoink. Huntress Wizard! Oh! Ah! 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 Sorry, Huntress Wizard. So me as a big Huntress Wizard stand, you know, it just means a lot to me personally. Ever Daniel! Huh? Do I know you? Dude, it's me, Finn. Quick, let us in. Oh, guys, I don't know. That's not my place. I just work here. I just work here. He said the line, guys. Can we get some claps in the chat, bro? He literally said it. Oh, you are guilty of harboring non-magic users. Dude, this is literally ICE. This is anti-immigration in America, bro. It's the same thing. They hate non-wizard users. Receive your just punishment. 
No. Whoa. Is this like lingerie for like computer science majors or something? <laughs> That's when they're getting kinky in the fucking programming class. You two, in here. I got cells upstairs for princess and milk face. Wait, so why does the other guy get eviscerated immediately and they get to go to prison and be trialed? What the fuck did the other guy do that made him get eviscerated? Maybe actually getting turned into a stick is a lighter sentence. Prisoner, drop that contraband magic. It's a white Christmas. All I need for Christmas is Daniel. Finally, healing magic. He wants to be gay so bad, but you're not gay. You do not have the power of the rainbow, Daniel. Rubble dubble dingle dongle. So the moral of the episode is lie to people to get them vaccinated. Yep. Yeah, totally stuck that landing. If I could crawl into your mouth and wear your flesh as a skin suit, would you let me? I would let you do it for $20 a minute. That's not a bad price. That's right. <laughs> I like how they made you think he was going to jump out the window, but he's just too fucking big and fat. He just crashed through the entire side of the wall. Oh my God, the booty cheeks. They are tight. Why didn't you stop me? When you're in my body, it pushes out my brain, so I have no control. That's fucking terrifying. <laughs> That's really fucking weird, actually. He can't consent. That's what he just said. This is another lack of consent Adventure Time episode. I bet you wouldn't be saying that nonsense if I wore you as a suit. Do it, bro. Get in here. Oh, God, I forgot about this. It's so fucking weird. Please don't do it. No, no. Okay, I thought I thought we were going another layer there for a second. I got a little scared. I'm a certain baby duck and they got a man. I can shake him up. Okay, let him cook, man. Let him. He's maybe he's doing something here. How has Ice Spice not sampled this? I feel like this is right up her alley. Jake. Oops, busted. Are you controlling Finn? Dude, look at the inside of his mouth. Since when were his teeth that fucked up? He has five top teeth. This man can barely chew his food. What's TV doing here? I thought all the kids found apartments. Ha <laughs> <laughs> that's my boy. He's a gamer. He's just like us. Well, he's Korean, you know what I mean? So he's probably like trying to go pro in league or something. Like he's got his own thing going on. He's doing his best out here. How do I win the bet, lady? Hey, dad. Why don't you try jumping in a volcano? That was low-key unhinged as fuck to suggest, but okay. This would also kill Jake, though. Like, he will also die. I'm gonna lower you some more. Probably gonna cook up your brain. Oh, yeah, give it to me! <laughs> Finn is fucking insane. What other protagonist is doing that shit? That's all I'm saying, bro. <laughs> I forgot that's how the episode ends. <laughs> what the fuck? This man was determined to jump into a volcano. Full body immersion therapy. <laughs> no! Yeah! Why is he excited? It's a callback. They, they had those clowns in an older episode, and Jake liked the clowns, but Finn did not. Oh, I forgot about this. He literally deletes data and it makes him high. Bro is basically huffing gasoline. This is why you don't do drugs, kid. He basically killed himself. He deleted his own system 32. Need to get new core system drivers installed. We can get them at the mall factory in the Badlands. I can't even feel bad for him in this episode. This is entirely self-inflicted. Why was he doing this in the first place? Because it felt good. It was a rush. That's how it starts. You, you do heroin one time, and then next thing you know, it's a daily occurrence. Fantastic. Okay. Please get ready for your total personality wipe. Emo is the one in charge of the personality wipe? Is that like a commentary on like taking like antidepressants or something and how it just drastically changes who you are as a person? Adventure time is deeper than you think. Where's the B-port? Intruder spotted. Prepare to vaporize. Vaporize. Is it not crazy they still have the feds though? Like everything went to shit, but the feds are still there. Oh, yeah, now I remember how fucking cool this shot. Yo, it's so awesome. That's fucking awesome. The animators showed up to work today and they're like, I want to be on a roller coaster, but I have to work, so I'm just going to draw one instead. Bimo? Did I hear Bimo? Who is that? That sounds like 
a voice. It's like a very old, old man. Oh, he's got a little Beemos carrying his fucking health support. Hey, I'm Mo. It's him. He's Mo. Are you human too? My skin's human. <laughs> what does that mean? What the fuck does that mean? That's so weird. Oh my god. Oh, thank you. But I guess I never ended up dating any women. Oh, average computer science major. Has he made any like sex? Most. Let me look it up on, on rule 34 or something. I'm just saying, like, if he never found, like, a lover, like, surely he felt the desire for some sort of connection. Like, putting his little floppy disk in the USB port or something, you know what I'm saying? Okay, there you- I- we saw the s**mos right there. Did you see it? Sheesh! I saw him, bro. I saw him. Nah, dude, it's crazy. It's like there's so many different areas in this world where there's just like tiny little entire civilizations that you would never see in a million years. And if you want to be part of a tiny little civilization, you can check out our Patreon. Thanks for watching. Alejandro Paredes, Atomic Leon, Bento, Kane Rivers, Kamalu, Cosmic Dega, Crystal Bunny, Daryl Herb, Diane Stalk, Frozen Spaghetti, Gabriel Grenado, Gub Stargazer, Gummy Brain Rot, Gunny Snow Unison, Helio, I Pegged Brett Hand, Isaiah Alford, Kamui, Catherine Wright, Night VDB, Leaf, Lilac Moon, Modestry, Master Nate, Matthew Byers, Mowry, Solomon Graber, Native, Nick, Obama Gaming, Omega Waffles, Pitchin' Witch, Him is Best Boy, Rain, Steven Sanchez, Sunny D, Tyrant Sills, Toast, Ultimate Parson, Bell Explicit, Victoria, Wyatt Line.